I'm Jamela Mustafa, host of the newly anticipated web series, The Advocate, also featured on Channel 28, Wednesdays at 5.30 p.m. We want to know, what will you be an advocate for? What's up? It's the number one advocate here. I'm chilling. I mean, I'm hosting out here right now at Free Reigns Hip Hop Festival with my man's The Palace Prince. We've been working all week. We've been at the Hip Hop Festival. We had a speech this morning at uh, at one of the Northeast uh, Youth yeah. Conferences for the church. Okay. We got the gala tomorrow. Gala, we go, we, we're going to show face at the Bob Marley Festival tonight. Oh, but right now, let's focus on Free Reign Hip Hop Festival. Yeah. Palace, tell me what's about to go down here today. Man, we're about to have tons of performance, tons of vendors, tons of celebration of hip hop. And, and and I believe that it's the anniversary of something today. Something that something that we as a team birthed about a year ago. You want to tell them whose birthday it is today? The one year anniversary for Voices for the Voiceless. Yes, yes. So one year of advocacy and we're out here and we're reaching double the number than we did last year on this very same day. First we started off in the morning at the church to about a group of 50 kids and now we're here at the park and you're going to be able to see us interviewing. We're going to have people coming in and out all day. So make sure you stay tuned to the special edition of the advocate yeah yeah it's the palace prince listen we on the advocate right now i'm chilling with Tra tracy quake listen trace what you advocating for uh you know out here as a hip-hop artist okay advocating just for like cultural change and if anything just to change the perception of the black male in general black community in general you know how we perceive each other and how other people perceive us that's what we're out here trying to change we want to show a positive influence we want to show that you know what we can come together in, in murder town usa wilmington delaware you know and have something positive Positive going on in the community. That's what everybody needs. So yeah, that's what we advocate for. Okay. Well, if you had one thing to give any local performing artist, rapper, singer, songwriter, what advice would you give them? I say, I say, with music, you know, if you're an aspiring rapper, aspiring singer, musician, producer, whatever it may be, it's insecure as you may feel about the industry. Just follow your dreams. You know what? Because where there's a will, there's a way. If you want to do something bad enough, you'll find a way to make it work. Definitely. Well, listen, you heard it here first. The Palace Prince, Tracy Quake. Listen, stay tuned. Listen, we're back. Once again, it's the Palace Prince on The Advocate. I'm here with Colleen, Miss Colleen. What are you advocating for? I'm advocating for peace and for all of us to become united. And you know what? Lift our hearts up to the Father, our, our God of our own understanding, and let's just embrace each other. There's too much killing going on. Our, we're losing all our babies. So I, I'm grateful to all of you to have this. I am just, it's an honor to be here. Thank you. So this is a positive thing, community. Do you have any advice for anybody going past or stopping by? What advice would you give them? Stop here because this is where peace is united. Don't walk down the other streets. Stop here because this music fills your soul. And the people are beautiful. Definitely. Listen, you heard it here first. It's the Palace Prince on The Advocate. Oh yeah, y'all. We back right here live on The Advocate. My name is The Palace Prince. I'm here with Alvin. Listen, Alvin, what are you advocating for? Change in the hip-hop music practice. Change in the hip-hop music. Now listen, Alvin, we're here at a community event. Do you feel as if this community event is effective? Yeah. So, when we hear the word hip-hop, what do you think of? Positive, laughter, and everything else that goes with it. So, events like this will really bring change to the community? Yes. Well, you heard it here first. Once again, it's the Palace Prince on The Advocate. Stay tuned. It's the number one advocate, and we are wrapping up what has been a great and excellent day here for the one-year anniversary of Voices for the Voiceless, and we're celebrating the Free Reign second annual hip-hop festival. We got the graffiti wall still going on, performers still going on. We're going to be out here all day, so make sure that you just look on YouTube and see if we put any exclusives up. That's a hint, hint right there for you guys. So we want to say goodbye until next week. It's the number one advocate checking out. Make sure you tune into the Advocate Show next Wednesday. Day at 5 30. We out.
PC Campbell, a realtor with Berkshire Hathaway, Fox and Roach Realtors, and this is The Advocate Show. Whether it's finding your real estate dream home or listing your current home, renting investment properties, we have everything that can meet your needs here. Today, we're at 1211 Tatnall Street in the city of Wilmington, which is close to downtown Wilmington and I-95. We're gonna take a look inside of this house. Come on in. So welcome to 1211 Tatnall Street. This house is currently listed at $209,900. There is three bedrooms, one and a half bath. The current living space is about 1,400 square feet. There's hardwood floors from the living room into the dining room, and it has huge nine foot ceilings. There's plenty of space throughout the house for your guests to flow through when you're entertaining. There's also a powder room here on the first level, so your guests don't have to go trudging upstairs to use the potty. There's also a first floor laundry. And your kitchen has plenty of cabinet space for your the master bedroom. The upstairs level of this house has brand new carpeting, full closets in this room, very spacious, a lot of light through the windows. The great thing about this house is the furniture and the home decor within it are also for sale. One of the great things about home ownership is you have the option of personalizing the house to your own style, but if you like the way this house is set up, you can purchase it just the way it is. downtown Wilmington. We're advocating for home ownership. It's definitely a sense of security and investment in your future and the community that you live in. So thanks for joining us on The Advocate Show and we'll see you next time. The inspiration was really um, just the, well, number one, to have the most colorful experience. You know, that's why it's called the Color Brothers, but, and to, uh, to tell a story through the colors as well, you know, so each piece, all the colors, you know, mean something, and every piece tells a specific story, as well as the leaves, you know, so it's like, we really wanted to tell a story through the color and that for people to feel an emotion from it.
This series is called Negative Space. Uh, I wanted to draw how I, feel how I feel black people are viewed in America. We're viewed as negative space, but we bring color to everything around us. But we also don't see each other at the same time because we've been influenced by America. So it's about a family breaking up. And what happens when a family breaks up? The man usually ends up in jail, and the mom usually has a kid by herself that she has to raise, who's probably gonna end up in jail, and probably gonna be in a bad relationship, and the cycle never ends. And what do I want people to take from it? We gotta stop the cycle. <laughs>、oh, these paintings are interesting because as as they're colorful, they're still you know the story they're telling isn't necessarily like a happy story、uh, because I really wanted the colors to represent aspects of, of society to where、um, you know how they color us, how they frame us, they frame our thinking,、um, and, and the question is really you know if you remove these colors. You know who are we underneath, and what do we look like underneath, and that's that's the kind of story I'm trying to tell. You know, with each piece, and、um, I'm, I just hope that people can feel the emotion from the colors as well, and and that's just kind of what inspired me to just I don't even know, like I, I just kind of went in and just started doing stuff, and it, it just kind of worked out really. <laughs>、yeah. And say a little bit about the work and everything like that.、Um, my name's Terrence. Terrence Vance is Alim Smith. Yeah. 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 To, to, today we are the Pirates. You know what I mean? So、um, I'll finish here. It's weird. He's downstairs. He got a young one, so you know he got to do his thing. But、uh, can, we, can we get another round of applause? This is. This is Bernice's Educational School Aid Center, located at 2516 West Fourth Street, Wilmington, Delaware. Bernice's Educational School Aid Center is a multifaceted facility that provides child care and enrichment services to children ages six weeks all the way through college. Child care services are provided Monday through Friday. From 6 a.m. to 5:30 p.m., our children have very wholesome experiences. In our school-age program, our children enjoy going to the different activities that we provide during the summer. At our center, we focus on creating an atmosphere where infants can enjoy safety, comfort, and unconditional love. They are provided quiet rest time. Proper nutrition and stimulation by nurturing interactions. Their every need is satisfied. It all depends on how much money we can raise to be able to take care of our children. One thing that families and the parents and the community can do is to donate some money for our children because field trips are extremely expensive, and we need our children to be able to go on field trips. Our little tag for Bernice's Educational School Aid Center is a place where infants and toddlers achieve academic success.
The day is finally here. We are at the Playhouse Theater in Wilmington, Delaware for Delaware's Teen Idol. I am so excited. And before being so rude, let me introduce myself. I'm India Sage, your host for the evening, as well as the Palace Friends. That's right. We are the dynamic duo that will be tearing up the red carpet this evening with all of our fabulous contestants. Are you excited? Yo, I'm ecstatic. <laughs> what are you ecstatic about? I'm ecstatic about seeing my little sister perform, blaze the stage, and bring all she has to the stage. Oh my goodness. So he actually has a sister in this um, beautiful competition. I'm so excited about the competition. Yes. I don't have anybody that I know that's in it this year, but I'm here to support all of the teens regardless. Um, this is all about community and this is all about the kids this year and um, every year. So let's get right into it. Delaware's Teen Idol. Yep. Woo! Listen, guys, we're back. It's the Palace Prince, and I'm here with Morgan. Morgan, how you feeling about the show? Feeling awesome, man. Listen, now when you hit this stage, what's going to be the best feelings you'll have? I don't know, man. We got a lot of emotions going into this next poem that I have. I don't know. I'm just excited for the audience to see it, honestly. Okay, so do you have any words of encouragement for anyone that's about to hit the stage? Just be confident and... Um, Know that everyone is here for you, and no one's here to discourage you. Now listen, Morgan, we wish the best of luck to you in your performance, and have fun out there, right? Thank you. Right. Listen, guys, I'm here with Maya. Maya, how are you feeling about your performance? Nervous. But You're nervous. You're nervous, but what's the last part? Excited. But excited. Now, when you hit this stage, what's the best feeling that you're going to receive? Um, definitely feeling of accomplishment. Okay. Feeling of accomplishment. Now, do you have any advice for any other participants that are about to hit the stage? Just be yourself and have fun. Be yourself and have fun. Listen, Maya, when you get out there, make sure you have fun. Make sure you perform. Make sure you smile. Make sure you do your thing, all right? Good luck. Thank you. Listen, guys, I'm here with Stanley. Stanley, do you have any encouraging words for anyone about to hit the stage? Well, I'm coming to first place. Oh, man, we got a tight show. Now, listen, Stanley, how are you feeling about your performance? Well, I'm pretty, feeling pretty confident feeling pretty confident. Listen, Stanley, when you get out there, make sure you have fun, make sure you wow the crowd, and make sure you smile, all right? Sure will. Good luck, man. Thank you. Listen, guys, we are back at the 2015 Delaware Teen Idol. I'm here with Quasia. Quasia, how are you feeling about today? I'm very excited and a little bit nervous. Okay. Now, listen, Quasia, do you have any words of encouragement for anyone about to hit the stage today? Uh, just do your best. Um, give God all the glory and have fun. Listen, you heard it here first from Quasia. Have fun, give God the glory, and do your best. Now listen, Quasia, when you hit that stage, make sure you smile, make sure you have fun, and remember, it's all good, all right? Now listen, go ahead and do your thing, all right? Go ahead. Listen, guys, we're here back with Damien on the red carpet. Damien, how are you feeling about today? Good. You feeling good. Now listen, when you hit the stage, what are any words of encouragement that you will have? To be empowered by other performers and other and all the audiences. All right, so be impacted. Now listen, when you get out there, make sure you smile, make sure you have fun, and listen, it's all good, all right? Listen, man, good luck and have fun out there, all right? Thank you. All right. All right, guys, we're here back live on the red carpet for Delaware Teen Idol. I'm here with Organized Chaos. How are you guys feeling? We're excited. You, you guys know. are excited. What about you? Turn up. Turn up. What about you? I'm excited. You're excited. So listen, you guys are all about to hit the stage. Do you have any words of encouragement for anyone about to go out there? Don't be nervous. Don't be nervous. Dance your heart out. Dance your heart out. Do your thing. Do your thing. Listen, guys, make sure you get on the stage, smile, have fun, and don't be afraid to do your thing, all right? All right, guys, good luck. Thank you. Listen, guys, we're here on the red carpet. I'm here with Boss Behavior. How are you guys feeling about tonight? Feeling great, man. Feeling good, you know. About to come out here. About to do our best. About to do your best. About to come out here and do the best. Now, listen, what about you? Pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. Very confident. So, a lot of these guys are hitting the stage tonight. Do you have any advice for anyone that's about to go out there and do their thing? No, just go out there and do your best, you know. Good luck, you know, of course. Have fun. Have fun. Yeah. Okay. Have fun? Cool. Definitely. So, you guys about to get the stage. What number are you? We're 13. Number 13 in Delaware Teen Idol. Listen, guys, make sure you go out there, have fun, smile, do your thing, and don't be afraid to live, all right? Let's get it. Good luck to you. Thank you. All right. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, we are live at the 2015 Delaware Teen Idol. We are on the red carpet right now interviewing every finalist that is about to blaze the stage. Stay tuned. You don't want to miss what's about to happen on this red carpet. Ha! 
Cool guys, we are back here live on the red carpet. I'm here with Satavia and Jeremiah. How do you guys feel about your performance that you're about to give? I feel real good. Feel real good. What about you? Yeah, I'm excited to get this thing going. Let's go. Now, what after you guys? Well, we're doing we're at 14 and we're doing poetry. Doing poetry. Now listen, best of luck to you guys. Make sure you get on the stage, have fun, do your best, and don't be afraid to live, alright? Now listen, thank you guys for joining the red carpet. Alright? Go ahead. All right, guys, we're here live on the 2015 Delaware Teen Idol Red Carpet. I'm here with Life After Idol. Now, listen, guys, do you have any words of encouragement for any of them about to hit the stage? Yeah, just give it your all. You're going to have a good time. That's, that's the biggest thing. That's the biggest thing. What about you? I've never done this before, so I wouldn't know. Okay. What about you? I mean, just do your thing, man. Leave it all on that. Leave it all on the stage, for real. Okay. Remember, it's not about winning. It's about getting your point across. Ooh. That's deep. Now listen guys, you heard it here from the idol themselves. Stay tuned for what's about to happen on this red carpet. Let's get it. Guys, we are back here on the red carpet. I'm with Anai Reed. Listen, do you have any words of encouragement for anyone about to hit the stage? Um, I just want to say y'all go out there and have fun because that's the most important thing and just do what you love to do. That's why we're here, right? That's why we're here. Now listen, your performance is very special. What is your performance about? My performance is basically about, I had a, actually, I lost a friend to um, gun violence. So that's what I wrote my song about. It's an original song and it's, I feel like um, a lot of people can relate to it. Cool. Now listen guys, we heard it here first. Make sure you stay tuned to the episode, stay tuned to the red carpet, and stay tuned to the main event. Delaware Teen Idol, let's go. Guys, listen, we're here back on the red carpet. I'm here with Diggy. Listen, do you have any words of encouragement for anyone about to hit the red carpet? Good luck. Um, show your talent, show what you got, so good luck. Good luck. Now, what do you have to say about your performance? Uh, my performance, I'm going to be uh, doing two songs. Your boy Busy's about that, like, I'm a 12-year-old and uh, I'm working hard and stuff. And then I'm doing another song. It's called One Minute. It's about, like, um, about my life and stuff. Cool. Now, listen. Stay tuned for what they're about to do to the stage. Make sure you come check out the red carpet. Come check out the performances and watch out for what's coming next. Let's get it. Hello, my name is India Sage, and we are here at Delaware's Teen Idol right now. And you guys won't believe who I have with me. Miss Bria Marie, yes, a panelist, uh, actually a performer who will be opening the act for the evening. Can you please tell us just a little bit about your act? Don't give us too much. I won't, I won't. I'm really excited. We're actually the finale today, so it's an honor to be here. And I'm really excited for all of the kids that are performing in such positive music. But today we'll be doing something for my debut album, a couple songs. I won't ruin the surprise. But you can go get the album on BriaMarie.com or iTunes. It's called Freshman. Absolutely. And can you tell me, you know, what's your inspiration for performing and all the things that you do? What's your inspiration? Well, Jesus Christ is my number one inspiration, always, always. But a lot of the music, I'm the first artist on with Ethical Music Entertainment. And so it's family-friendly music. It's feel-good music for the whole family. So we're just trying to make people feel good and change lives with music. Absolutely. We're giving you fresh new artists right here at Delaware's Teen Idol. Make sure you guys stay tuned. I told you that Delaware Teen Idol was full of surprises. I'm actually here with one of our guest judges and also I believe he's hosting the event for the evening. Mr. A Million, please tell the audience and the viewers, you know, watching, what's this experience about to be like for you? It's all about the youth. It's all about the youth. I can finally get a kickback. I get to host, no performing. I get to see everybody and see all this wonderful talent. We're here celebrating life. Absolutely. And are you judging tonight or are you just hosting? Just hosting. Don't give me too many extra jobs. I already got too many. No. We are always... Come on now. Absolutely. We're always trying to give him extra jobs and extra work. Um, what's going on right now? What's new within your um, expertise and all the things that you do? Well, right now we get ready to take our gifts abroad. We get ready to go to AZ, LA. Finally got my first overseas tour to the UK. So I can't wait to branch out. But right now it's all about the night. It's all about that. Delaware, you know? And how did you find out about Delaware's Teen Idol, if you don't mind me asking? Well, it actually started last year. I was performing. I remember seeing you as a host, meeting you. And uh, now it's next move, best move. We get the host, and who, and who knows what's in store next. Well, there you have it. I told you that I'm here with the host of Delaware's Teen Idol. We are on the red carpet. And man, oh man, we have a lot in store. Yes. Delaware Teen Idol is all about the youth. And that's right. We're getting them in here today and just giving them a taste of what Delaware has to offer. We're here at Delaware's Teen Idol. Are you excited about tonight? Yes. What are you looking forward to, Olivia? Meeting new people. Absolutely. And, you know, how did you find out about Delaware's Teen Idol? Uh, my counselor. Okay. And what did they say when they, you know, kind of introduced it to you? They said that would be really fun and a nice experience. And do you think that's what's about to happen tonight? Yes. 
Oh, you're in store. So I will definitely see you in there, Olivia. Make sure that you get ready. Viewers, if you aren't here right now, you are missing out. Listen, guys, we are here live at the Delaware 2015 Teen Idol. I'm here with India Sage, Sweet Friend Sean, and myself, The Palace Prince. You guys ready to kick it off? Let's get it. Absolutely. So, I mean, if you haven't heard about her already, well, you're about to hear so much now. We are here with the wonderful and the beautiful Miss Sweet Franchise. Hi. Hello. We've missed you. I know. I'm glad to be here tonight. You've been so busy. I know that you're involved in so much, but our audience may not know. So let's brief them on just a little bit about you. Sure. My name is Sweet Franchise. I'm a poet, performer, producer, director, composer, writer, author, and um, Wilmington's own. Glad to be here to hope some other Wilmington's own rise up to the occasion and excited to be a judge tonight. Absolutely. I mean, from when I was just interning with you, I I remember being at all your shows and I'm learning so much and now that you're actually here as a judge to give back to the students, that's amazing. Um, what is one you know, bit of advice that you can give to all the contestants that are participating today? First things first, relax. Enjoy your performance. Let everything go once you hit the stage and I think that'll be fine. Cool. I have one also question. If you had any advice to any audience member, what would you say? I would first say, you know, if you're not an artist, at least show love to the artist, no matter whether you appreciate or understand their form of expression. Also, for those that are sitting in the audience, use this as an opportunity to be inspired, to hopefully tap into whatever your artistic expression is, and to decide to use it. That's what I would tell the audience. Absolutely. You've always done such a wonderful job at just composing yourself and just being an all-around great person outside of your profession. You know, tell the students or the contestants that are participating, how do you keep that professionalism as an artist? First of all, you got to pray a lot. <laughs> and you got to have good friends, a close circle, so that when you need to vent and have things, that say things that you don't necessarily want to share with the public, you have to have a circle that you can trust that will allow you to be who you are no matter what. And that way you can always be professional no matter what other circles or environments you're in. And take the time out to relax. To relax at home, to turn off the cell phones, to turn off the television, to just be in yourself. You got to like your own company. And if you like your own company, Company, you won't take things personally, you won't be defensive every time someone says something or does something you don't like, and it really helps you maintain your composure. Absolutely. Let's follow up with one last question and let's get into this um, arena out here and see what these contestants have to offer. Definitely. To let us in on some insight, you are one of the judges. What are the judges looking for in the finalists? Well, we're looking at for the fact that you have um, your abiding the rules. You signed an agreement that you have to abide certain rules. Your lyrics have to be on certain topics and things of that nature. Then we're looking for your stage presence and most of all, looking to see if you're having a good time expressing, you know, through your poetry, your singing, or whatever it is you're doing today. We have received so much great advice, wisdom. Um, the beauty and the intellect that comes from Miss Sweet Franchon is just not comparable. We're so glad to have you here um, supporting Delaware's Teen Idol. And please make sure that you continue to support even if you're not a judge in the following year. <laughs> I will, absolutely. And I'm, I'm really excited about doing um, some artists helping some artists with their branding and some artist development after the fact. I'm really excited about that. So you heard it here first. Some of these are, um, contestants might actually have a chance to have artist development with a homebred um, celebrity in our city, Miss Sweet Franchon. You heard it here first. Thank you. Listen, I'm the Palace Prince. Right here is India Zade. And we want to thank you guys for checking in, tuning out to Delaware's Team Icon. Woo! See you guys later. All right.